I'm Jim Kircher. When it comes to science, research, innovation, the United States is still a world leader. But let's face it, there's plenty of competition out there. And yet, since doing this program, I've run into a lot of people who have some pretty good things to say about the next generation of American scientists. And that's what this first story is about. Not just young scientists, but those who are mentoring young scientists. Lucas Schenker is spending much of his summer at the University of Missouri-St. Louis running bees through tunnels. Are they going to forget the, what they learned or how long does it take them to like remember it and stuff? By the way, the name on his t-shirt is that of a 13th century Italian mathematician, which might be an indication of the kind of high school kids who are attracted to this sort of program. The experiments, yeah. Mayor Connor thought it would be interesting to put in six weeks in a biochem lab, helping to do basic research related to Parkinson's disease. To apply the different types of microRNAs that we have, there's like... There are two of 66 high school students participating in this summer's STARS program, students and teachers as research scientists. It puts kids who are entering their senior year into research labs around the city. They do attend lectures and seminars, but this is not a summer school class. They're here to do real science under the guidance of real scientists. Mayer's lab work is part of Professor Wendy Olivas' study of proteins related to Parkinson's. Created over time. And then we use this is actually the first year, program. this is the first year I've been involved in the STARS program. I have had other high school students in the lab, and it's been a really good experience. So I decided to go ahead and do the STARS program. I think it's an excellent opportunity for the high school students to get a feel for real research before they get to college. And once they get to college, they have a, a real leg up in all the other students in getting into the lab. No, I really like molecular biology, and I was really glad to be uh, paired up with this lab, and I'm really enjoying my experience. So that's the students get to choose what they want to do, chemistry, medicine, genomics, microbiology, or joining the research that's being done at UMSL on bees. Oh, well, you know, I mean, I, I was pretty much up for anything, and bees, it sounds exciting, so I, I thought that would be cool to work with them. He's contributing to Professor Amy Dunlop's ongoing research on bee yeah. behavior. So how are they combining information that they're born with with information that they're gaining through their own experience and information they can get from other bees. This is bee learning? It is bee learning. They do learn. I'm just going to be looking at like how fast they can figure that and out. And it's great it's having excited high school students in the lab. I think sometimes they learn that science is maybe... And it's great having excited high school students in the lab. I think sometimes they learn that science is maybe not quite what they thought it was going to be. Uh, there's maybe a few more... In addition to their work in the labs, they attend presentations by other scientists. And on this day, UMSL Chancellor Tom George was talking to them, not as chancellor, though, but as the research scientist he still is. Uh, but it is actually a stable species, and it has been observed. Science is exciting. It's not dull. It's not boring. Uh, and there's opportunities in sciences. And so we're hoping we'll get more students to go into the STEM disciplines, go on to college, and major. In, in one of the scientific or engineering or mathematical disciplines. We place all the carbons by uh, borons and uh, nitrogen. Most of the students come from local high schools, like, but the STARS program does attract kids from outside the area, even outside the country. Tuition's $2,500, but there's financial aid. The universities and the corporate sponsors don't want to turn away anyone who really wants to do this. Students who go through STARS are kind of those who will ultimately replace us. Heidi Hope is a cell biologist with Confluence Life Sciences and a STARS advisor. I love what I do. I absolutely love what I do. And I want the kids to see that this is really cool. Um, and if they decide they don't like it, that's an important thing to decide too. While there are no tests or grades in the program, every student does have to prepare a final presentation and a scientific paper on their research. Uh, which is something none of these kids have ever written before. And so it's a little bit of an eye-opener to them. Um, so you have to take them through it step by step. Um, but it's really nice because then they can actually put it in their applications for college. And then when they actually go into a lab um, in college, they know how to do science. This was the 28th year for the STARS program. 2,000 kids have gone through this. Many of them have gone on to careers in science and engineering. The final ceremony at the end of the six weeks looks like a graduation, and with speeches about the future, sounds like a graduation. But wait, there's more. An offer from UMSL Chancellor Tom George. We are delighted to offer each of the STARS graduates a full-time, full-tuition scholarship to the University of Missouri-St. Louis.
They will leave the six weeks of science with a star's lab coat and with ideas about their future well beyond their final year in high school. Um, it's been an incredible opportunity. Um, coming in, I wasn't quite sure how I felt about researching as a career. Um, but after going through this, it seems like a definite option for me. Um, the support of the mentors that have been involved and the people in the lab has been completely invaluable. And I've learned so much over the course of the summer.